Hi everybody, in this next section of our scratch coding, I'm going to be showing you how to code the cat to take damage and lose some health. So we need to code the cat sprite right now. So at the bottom of your screen, you want to make sure you go and select the sprite of the cat. And, and make sure you're still not selected on the wizard from the last section. So you're going to notice that in the uh, workspace area, we still have our code from our cat sprite from before. That's perfectly fine. Just kind of scroll to the bottom or move over, and you can place uh, your your next section of your code anywhere on this white workspace, and that'll be just fine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to the Events tab and select When I Receive Start Game, and just place it anywhere on the workspace. Now the next thing you want to do is go down to the variables option and you want to set the health to a number value. So we're going to grab this guy right here and bring him out, snap him there. And we're going to set that to a positive value. Um, and let's just place a 3 in that box right there. So that's what it should look like right now. The next thing you want to do is grab a forever loop and drag it out and snap it below the set health. So if you go to the control tab, you're going to grab a forever loop and you're going to snap it right below the set health to 3. So it should look like so. Once you have the forever loop in place, you want to grab a if-then block, which is also located in the control. And you're going to want to drag that out and drop it into your forever loop. So you want to tell the program that if you are touching the wizard, so you want to go down to sensing and find the one that says touching. So you place this in the drop box of your if then, and instead of the mouse pointer, you click down and select wizard so that your program looks like this at this point. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to the control tab and inside this if then block where you put touching the wizard, you want to grab the repeat block out. A repeat is like a loop, but you get to determine how many times it's going to happen before it stops. So that, that's what it should look like right now. So what we're trying to do with this repeat block is we're going to try to change the color um, by doing that, it's going to add an effect, and it's a good way to tell uh, whoever the user is playing the game that um, you've taken a hit from the wizard. So if it comes in contact with the wizard, we want to change the look of the cat repeatedly um, ten times. So what we want to do is we want to go to the Looks tab on the left-hand side, and we want to find the one that says change color effect by change color effect by and that's going to be snapped right into your repeat block like like that so once that happens what we want to do is then after it's repeatedly 10 times changing its color effect to indicate that it made contact with the wizard we want to then clear the effect so that the player, or in this case our cat, uh, returns back to its normal look. So in order to do that, we're going to go get the block that reads Clear Graphic Effects. And that's still located in the looks, and it's right here in your selection window. And where we want to snap that is right here. Okay, so you have this repeat, and then the clear graphics effects get snapped in right here. Uh, be careful, make sure you don't snap it to the wrong handle, and that's what it should look like. So after it comes in contact with the wizard, we want to make sure that the cat loses uh, health. So you need to find um, change health by uh, a negative number. So what we're going to do is go down to the variables tab and find the one that says change health by which is right here 
and we're going to snap that right to the bottom of clear graphics effect and we don't want to add um, a health we want to actually give a negative one because we want to lose lose health when the cat comes in contact with the wizard and the last part of this um, code here is we want to make sure we wait one second after we change the health to negative one so you're going to want to click on control and then find the block at the top that says wait one second and snap that right to the bottom of change health by negative one so this is what your code should look like at this time so uh, I want to show what happens if we were to test our program at this time if you hit the green flag and then hit the spacebar you'll notice that everything is in position and if you move your cat over to the wizard and make contact with it you do lose health and you do flash uh, but you'll notice that it's possible to walk right through the wizard and we don't want that to happen so the next thing I'll show you is how to fix that in order to prevent the cat from going through the wizard we want to add two blocks of code that prevent that walking through the wizard problem so we want to add two blocks and the first one is going to be called if on edge bounce if you go up to the motion tab in your selection uh, window here and you find one that says if on edge bounce that's located right here and the area where you want to snap that is right under the if then if touching the wizard then that's where you want to snap that and the next one you want to place underneath that one is to change x by negative 25 so you find the one that says change x by and you drag that out and snap it right below that one and change this number to negative 25 this is what the code should look like at this time so what that's going to do is it's uh, going to make the cat move back in the negative direction when it touches the wizard and very much the same way that the cat bounces back from the wall 